माय डियर लिस्नर सीन ऑफ अमेरिका कैनेडा लंदन बिनजुएला कंबोडिया ब्राजील इजराइल उज्बेकिस्तान कजाकिस्तान यूक्रेन रशिया पोलैंड पाकिस्तान बांग्लादेश ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड नेपाल एंड इंडिया टुडे वी हैव अराइव हियर इन द सत्संग ऑफ आफ्टरनून सेशन ऑफ संत मत टुडे आई विल आई विल स्पीक ऑन द टाइटल हाउ ए रिलीजियस पर्सन और ए मेडिटेटर शुड लिव ऑन दिस अर्थ हाउ वी शुड लिव ऑन दिस अर्थ माई डियर रिलीजियस मैन बॉडीज आई हैव टू से थ्रू दिस सत्संग दैट we have appeared or arrived on this earth to adore the supreme being and to worship and with the help of this worship we have to come by spiritual freedom for the obtainment of spiritual freedom we the entire humanity has been sent on this earth how i knew this fact my master who was a celebrated soul his name was maharshi mehi paramahans ji maharaj inculcated it in my brains before that i was not knowing that why we have appeared on this earth only if we are we are studying philosophy religion theology vedas upanishad only reading of these things are not sufficient we have to practice all all those things in our life the nature of soul or the supreme being or universe has been paraded in all traditions of indian philosophy but the work of meditator is not to know the whole things the work of meditator is to practice practice and practice work of meditator is to practice so how we will obtain the god or the supreme being subsequent to practicing yoga and what is the process of practicing yoga there is a process which all of you will not study in any universities of the world university of the world there are uncountable universities in this on this earth but in all those universities you will not know how to practice meditation and how to obtain the spiritual freedom there at there is no teaching of this Ma, my master 
had once said there is not a single university in this earth which has the capacity to teach humanity the process of meditation no if you will take admission in number one university of this universe cambridge university oxford oxford university they are at also all masters professors deans registrars vice chancellors of all those universities to which you understand that the number of one university of the world this world is infeasible to teach you how to obtain the god then where we have to go to take lesson of the obtainment or obtention of god that is we have to go under the lotus feet of any celebrated soul my religious master whose name was maharshi mehi parmas ji maharaj this is the picture of my master this is the picture of my master he was a celebrated soul he was alive alive till the period of 1986 i had a lot of meetings with him at that time i was a child but i had looked my master many times my master master's place of emancipation is almost 50 km remote from my own residence of father my father's residence is divided into two parts one part is said to be gyan ashram and another part is said to be dhyan ashram so that is only 50 km remote from my father's residence i took initiation by my master he gave me mantra i chanted that mantra almost 30 years more or less 30 years in the beginning this task come to be somewhat difficult but if you will practice a lot then you will find lot of happiness and pleasure in meditation the pleasure of meditation is the last and ultimate pleasure of this world not with standing there are uncountable pleasures on this earth uncountable if you have 100 aeroplanes 200 helicopters uncountable flats lot of golds and silvers monies dollars euros everything those things also give worldly pleasure pleasure of the world of the outer world but my dear listeners in as we all know that we have to leave this world for ever we will not remain in our bodies after some bodies in our some after some times we have to leave this world forever so we should prepare to leave this world we should prepare to leave this world how we will prepare to leave this world what is the process how we will prepare to leave this world what is the process of that take initiation by any celebrated soul then how you will search you will search that celebrated soul as i know 
ट्रेडिशन ऑफ महर्षि में ही परमहंस जी महाराज इज टीचिंग द राइट वे ऑफ द ऑप्टेनमेंट ऑफ गॉड ट्रेडिशन ऑफ रविदास जी महाराज ट्रेडिशन ऑफ कबीरदास जी महाराज ट्रेडिशन ऑफ राधा स्वामी जी महाराज ट्रेडिशन ऑफ मीरा बाई ट्रेडिशन ऑफ सहजो बाई ट्रेडिशन ऑफ यारी साहेब ट्रेडिशन ऑफ दादू दयाल जी ट्रेडिशन ऑफ तुलसी साहेब ट्रेडिशन ऑफ कबीर साहेब ऑल दो ट्रेडिशंस आर टीचिंग द राइट वे ऑफ द ऑप्टेनमेंट ऑफ द सुप्रीम बी All of you are to free to take initiation in any branch of this these above mentioned traditions. Two boys from Israel came to me when I was in Allahabad Kumbh Festival in the year of ninety. They wished to take initiation by me. I had initiated him. his name was lord and more they they were from israel no matter whether you are a hindu or muslim or sikh or isai or jew or anything else the way of obtainment of god is the same in whole human being The numbers of human be human being on this earth is eight hundred billions, and all eight hundred billions are feasible to take initiation, are entitled to take initiation. Anyone can take initiation. At the period of initiation. in accordance with the order of my master we give some mantra one mantra to chant but before taking meditation you have to leave to eat meat fish and egg and all types of intoxications after leaving all those things if you will have the six months then you will be entitled to take initiation and at the period of initiation i will give you a mantra and you have to chant that mantra i had chanted that mantra till all more than 30 years mantra chanting is the first phase of meditation after what words it comes to be the meditation on a particular image of our spiritual master and thereafter it comes to be the yoga of the union of two inner sides yoga of the union of two inner sides is a very very high quality technique of meditation in santmat tradition only to concentrate my brains on this yoga of two inner sides i have left all words of the world a person has invited me in british columbia canada to teach in a university there i said it is true that you have given me a high quality opportunity but right now i don't have time for that i have kept my whole life for the yoga of two inner sides the the yoga of the union of two inner sides as you know i am above 50 so i don't have lot of times in this birth i had a senior meditation master his ashram is in the very same district of bihar in which i am residing 
His name was Sahi Swami Ji Maharaj. He had spent eighteen years only in the yoga of two inner sides, two inner sides, in the practice of the yoga of two inner sides. So similar aim I have taken in my taken this year. I have to make an attempt to unite our two sides on a particular spaceless point, a particular point that exists on a spaceless space. What happens when we make an attempt to unite our inner sides? there at two streams of consciousness starts their journey to unite themselves on a particular point that exists on a spaceless space at the end of the yoga of two inner sides we will reach beyond time and space and when we will enter into the state of austral or subtle thereat there will be a complete non-existence of this entire physical world gross world when you will be able to unite your two inner sides on a particular point that is being existing on the spaceless space thereat you will find the complete non appearance of the whole outer world thereat there is no day and night there is non beingness of sun moon stars sky and uh, clouds waters of the clouds entire world to which you are perceiving on this world disappears there in fact the entire consciousness soul which is existing in our body enters into the state of subtle there astral there this body died on this earth and the person the consciousness appears on the astral state subtle state now with the help of the yoga of two inner sides you have ended this outer world you have ended the outer world at the end of your life too you have to leave this world forever what you have to do at the period of the end of your life you should make an attempt to do all those things before death or demise of yours the originator or establisher of radha swami traditions name was hujur swami ji maharaj Hujur Swami Ji Maharaj had started to learn the technique of living all five bodies in the age of sixth. When he was six year old, years old, he had started this journey, and he had completed this journey. But I have not completed this journey. I am just in the way right. i am just uh, in the way right now but i can say it only in 
in moving on the way that my way is totally correct my master is complete and at the end of our sadhana meditation practice we will obtain emancipation many persons say to me if a boy become district becomes district magistrate he can become only in 22 years or in 28 years or he can become but all meditators can become the complete released soul in thousand and thousand years if a politician becomes president then he becomes that thing in only some some years in 70 years 40 years 80 years 65 years but why the meditators cannot obtain emancipation only in in this some some sort of times what is reason my answer is that all those persons who has become something on this earth they have became only for 100 years but if you will become the celebrated soul then your age will be infinite and the lord is infinite the supreme being is infinite almighty is infinite all omnipresent is infinite so the all so the home or aim or goal of meditator is to unite their souls with the god which is infinite so all meditators have to come to be infinite our existence after our spiritual freedom will be of infinite years and the entire presidents of this world is only of 100 years a president of any country will retired then he will obtain his pension only for 100 years but if you will release yourself from the bounds of your five bodies then you will be celebrated and your life time will be the uncountable years so my dear friends when i was not i had not taken shelter of the lotus feet of uncountable saints and sikhs of india i was not also i was not knowing these facts in fact but i spent lot of times with uncountable sikhs and saints of india and of other nations too they taught me a lesson of the obtainment of nirvana and i like that course a lot pleasure is a technical term two or three days before a person was saying me on the telephone line then i have happy on this word only for this reason that i have a good wife that gi- she gives me lot of pleasure to me yes it is true wives give lot of pleasures to their husbands it is true but the pleasure with respect to which i am saying here is a infinite pleasure 
your son also gives you some pleasure your brothers your sisters your master everyone gives you give you lot of pleasures but technically that is not in fact a pleasure that is a pleasure of the world the moment you will leave this world at the end of your life no one will go with you your money your goals your factories your service your pension your all persons of your relatives will not go with you the thing that will go with you is the meditative research and the impressions which you have made in on your brains by doing lot of religious works on this earth will go with you so i was also doing lot of works of this world i was involved in writing lot of manuscripts in singing lot of devotional songs in doing lot of perform programs of performance of devotional songs but the end of when i be not at the end but when i became above 50 then i decided all this efforts of mine was not a final effort so in the period of corona i concluded ki i should do only meditation and i should preach those things which i obtain in meditation so in these days i am only meditating meditating and meditating there are many professors in innumerable universities they say me to do lectures in their universities i said to them pardon me if you are professor if you are doing your duty then you do your duty let me remain sanyasi and preacher my master has written down a book the mystical poems of maharshi mehi in that book he has written a poetry that is in indian hindi language primarily i will utter that poetry in indian hindi language afterwards i will translate that poetry in your language too mukti marg janate sadhan karte nit sadhan karte nit satya chit jag mein rehte दिन दिन अधिक विराग प्रेम सो सत्संग करते द नेचर ऑफ सदगुरु इज दैट हु नोज द पार्ट ऑफ सेल्वेशन इफ यू आर टीचिंग इवन द फिलोसफी और वेदास इन यूनिवर्सिटी एज वाइस चांसलर तो एज बीइंग ए वाइस चांसलर then you are not in the right direction it has not been said to teach only those facts which are concerned with the salvation it has been said that practice those facts and be salvated before going into the cave grave so sanyasi's way is the correct way मुक्ति मारक जानते साधन करते नित्य इट इज इन हिंदी लैंग्वेज सदगुरु इज दैट हु नोज द वे ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल इमेंसिपेशन एंड हु डू प्रैक्टिस टू कम बाय दैट स्पिरिचुअल इमेंसिपेशन एंड दे लीड देयर लाइफ बाय यूटिलाइजिंग ट्रूथ एंड कंसस ऑन दिस अर्थ 
they live the life of honest person on this earth and they who delivers satsang to direct university to uh, to the people of universe to lead them those persons on the way of salvation in meditation to we obtain lot of knowledge daily knowledge is daily professors assistant professors senior professors vice chancellors governors ministers all are earning lot of knowledge is daily with the, by reading their papers documents and meditators meditators there is a power cut here there is a power cut in my room this is why there is a darkness on the screen and uh, so now you can look my face now you can look my face so meditators i was saying meditators also obtain lot of knowledge is by meditating a lot meditation is a final work of the human being at the end of the meditation the entire meditator the whole meditators will obtain emancipation but not in the way but at the end of the meditation my dear listeners in today there is a power cut here and uh, i would like to stop my uh, satsang here and i would like to invite to all of you to come in my tomorrow's satsang till that period goodbye and i would like to appeal to all of you all of you to forward these satsangs to those persons to know to whom you know that he is a religious seeker and that will help the others to become religious if you are becoming religious by listening me and if you are making attempt to make others religious by sending my videos that then that is also a work of religion god is perceiving everything he is looking everything be religious by listening me and let make others religious by sending my religious lectures to them to those persons so right now i am leaving here i am going and come tomorrow in my next satsang till that period goodbye Om Shanti Shanti Shanti